This is JB's Baseball Cards here with my third and final of the three pack, uh, three fat pack rip of 2022 Top Series 2. Uh, I did two videos of these earlier, pulled some cool cards. Um, but I keep mentioning this Jeff Bagwell bat relic I pulled. I pulled this off camera, so it's a pretty cool all star bat relic, Jeff Bagwell. I believe he's in the Hall of Fame, so I think that's really cool. Um, he played my Cubs a lot. I didn't really, when he was playing, I wasn't big into baseball yet. I was, you know, pretty little. So I um, just want to show that off. Uh, you can get some cool cards out of here. I got a Devers Independence Day Parallel. It was a tough pull and a good name. Um, hoping to get maybe a, even a common parallel of like O'Neill Cruz or Spencer Strider. In a blaster box of these. Of Series 2, I got a Spencer Strider Gold Parallel, so that was cool. Maybe O'Neill Cruz would be good as well. Um, any Cub, of course, for me as a Cubs fan would be nice. Um, I'm going to go through the uh, base cards pretty quick. Maybe point out any of the top rookies. Let me know if I missed one. Uh, we get to the middle pretty quick. and There's Alec Mills. Hasn't pitched much this year for the Cubs. Got a Walker Bueller, Stars of MLB Chrome. So he's out with a um, Tommy John surgery. Willie Mays, 1987 design. Lindor and Altuve, two middle infielders, stars of MLB. Um, I think these are pretty good value. I, I mentioned I got 20% coupon. There's Frank Schwindel, he's not on the Cubs anymore. 20% coupon from Big Lots. Be sure if you want to buy cards at Big Lots to sign up for their rewards program because they'll give you um, discounts just for signing up and uh, you can get good coupons from them pretty commonly all right go to the second pack Walker Bueller was probably my favorite card out of there the stars of the MLB Chrome we're in the last week here of the regular season Cubs are out of the playoff contention but they played really well so I'm happy with how this bodes maybe for next year uh, hopefully you can kind of spark a good season next year Got a lot of young guys who've got a lot of experience, which I think matters for the coming year. And uh, hopefully they can keep it going next year. I think they got a lot of pitching depth that they didn't think they would have this year. Um, just with some of the young guys coming up. So Dominique Smith, blue, retail parallel. Got a card flipped over here. This is a Kyle Farmer. That's going to be an advanced stats. Number 225 out of 300. So advanced stats, they show some of those like... Um, for a pitcher, it would be fielding independent pitching. For a, um, it would be like X Woba, which is like a expected weighted on base average. But that's a um, advanced stats parallel. Those are pretty, more common than other parallels, but pretty rare. There's Julio Arias, 87 style. Adolis Garcia and J.D. Martinez starts at MLB. And there's the base. So the stats will be... Just the regular stats on the base. Typical, you know, at-bats, hits, batting average, stuff like that. Although they have made um, war, wins above replacement, more common or, you know, more standard on regular cards as well. I think most uh, baseball fans who are big into it know what war means just from hearing it on broadcast. Last pack here. I don't have any more of these, so hopefully you get some last pack magic. Here's Javi Baez on the front. I'm a Baez fan, even though he didn't opt to sign back with the Cubs. They probably didn't offer him much. He struggled a little bit this year with Detroit, but has had some good stretches, I believe. Uh, still a Javi fan. He's on the World Series team. I got a bobble ahead of him. I went to a game. That was a giveaway. Big draw to go to that game. So I'm, I'm a big fan of Javi. Here is a Josh Van Meter, rainbow foil, cool card there. Then a Jonathan Scope, gold. So I mentioned you can get multiple parallels. I've gotten up to three in one pack. I'm happy to get those. Here's a Ty Cobb, that's a cool one. I think these are the diamond die cuts. I'm not exactly sure what they call them. Diamond grates, that's a really cool card to me. Walker Bueller and Jordan Alvarez, stars of MLB. I've got a bunch of those Chrome cards. I think probably I might be close to completing the set. I'm pretty confident I have the uh, 
just the base stars of MLB insert set complete. But uh, there you have it. I don't think I pulled any of the big rookie base cards, but I did in the other videos for sure. I'm not, I might have pulled an O'Neill Cruz or something. But I'll do a quick recap here. Got uh, these stars of MLB. I like Jordan Alvarez a lot. I like that card with the Dolce Garcia on it as well. It's a cool jersey. Got the stars of MLB Chrome of Walker Bueller. 1987s of Arias and Mays. And then I got the Ty Cub, Ty Cobb die cut. Josh Van Meter foil. Jonathan Scope gold. And Kyle Farmer advanced stats, which I guess is the most rare card of the break. Thanks for watching. This is the end of that series. Um, I'd say they're a good value if you can pick them up, especially if you do get a coupon at Big Lots. I don't think I saw these much at Walmart. They might have had them at Target or something, but or Meyer. I didn't really see them much. I think they were a pretty good deal at Big Lots. I enjoyed it. Um, uh, by the time you're watching this, is probably not. Uh, it's probably going to be the end of the regular season, so you won't be able to use any of those home run challenge cards, which I tried to finish those up before the end of the season um, in case I got one to. Um, you know, pick a day when the guy could get a home run and get a parallel card from Tops in the mail um, if he does hit a home run. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Go Cubs.